It's Bike Review Thursday. We got new bikes for you, and uh, I'm excited about this one. Check out the the view from my perspective here. We'll, we'll do a side view. So this is a downhill bike, so you're gonna be wanting to take this on some extra mountainous downhill terrain. A lot of the um, ski resorts will close for the winter, and ooh, nice disc brake. A lot of ski resorts close for the winter and they'll want a bike like this. Let's go ahead and get a sidewalk shot of the bike. Walk through it. So you can see here, a nice tape around the uh, chainstay. Uh, awesome derailleur with a nice, um, uh, looks like a gold hanger there. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gears in the back. The hydraulic. We got the uh, the guard chain guards in the front. And then here's the here's where the magic happens. You got a Fox shock here, which has over eight inches of travel, which is just incredible. With the carbon Evo Link, uh, pretty uh, nice there. We have the active uh, braking pivot with uh, back here with um, Trex technology. So this is a Trek. The actual brand, I don't know, I'll have to find it. Um, it has an extremely relaxed geometry, so you can see that seat there. And then over on the front of the bike, I guess it's a Rex, Rec. Um, you got that triple crown, uh, double crown shock in the front. Awesome steering column, super customizable here for a longer one if you want. Simple, just front front brake there, and then you got your gears for the rear, and nice brake levers here. Again, incredible amount of uh, movement here in the front, and then the solid axle, through axle here, with customizable rebound on the shock. Um, incredible amount of tread on these front tires. They're probably uh, 3.0s. Um, but if you just look at it, you can see how relaxed it is from the front fork slant to that back seat. So it really gives a, a easy, an easy amount of movement on the, the geometry. It's nothing like that though. But that's that's what we're dealing with here on this Thursday. Uh, the bike retails for a few grand, um, but you can get it now on Craigslist for a little under 3,000. So it's pretty sweet. There it is in action. Overall, Lots of awesomeness for the downhill rider. It is heavy, I'm gonna say that, but when you're downhill and that doesn't really matter and that actually can help your stability, so. Thanks for following, that's the seg.